Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. This is a general love reading for the sign of Capricorn for the upcoming week. If you're brand new to my channel, thank you for joining me. Everything that you need to know about this video and the reading is in the description box below. Please check that out. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate your support more than you know. I reached over 400 subscribers the other day and I'm very excited about that. So I do appreciate your return and um, you viewing and liking and subscribing. So thank you so much. Um, I do want to say to all of my viewers, this is a general love reading, so it can pertain to any kind of relationship, situation, or circumstance that you're dealing with. As always, take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. My intention is to reach the people who need the message the most. Okay, Capricorn, so we're going to get started. I want to give this deck one or two more shuffles, and we'll see what's going on for Capricorn this upcoming week, first part of February. I hope 2020 is treating you well. We're already into February. Feels like a lot has happened already. It's going to be a very exciting year. All right, here we go, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with you guys today. All right, in your underlying energy, we're going to start off with the King of Pentacles. And the Sun in Reverse. Death. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse. Knight of Wands. Six of Swords in reverse. And the Two of Swords in reverse. So Capricorn, I do feel like you are the king of pentacle energy, king of pentacles energy in your underlying energy. Um, I want to remind you that um, that even if you're a woman, you can embody this kind of energy. Don't be concerned about the gender of the cards. Be flexible. You also may end up being any of the other characters that shows up in this reading. So take what resonates. Again, you'll know if this reading is resonating for you, and you're going to know who you are. The king of pentacles is somebody who's very compassionate and loyal. Somebody who's very grounded. This can be a, a family man, somebody who is a hard worker, um, somebody who puts others first, somebody who is a very capable, an honorable person, high integrity, again, very loyal, somebody you definitely want in your corner. This is somebody that um, could be a perfect partner. The King of Pentacles is lacking some clarity right now. Maybe feeling unsure about something. It feels like he might be wanting to bring an end to something or let something go. Or release something, giving up on something. Maybe giving up on taking action. But I think he feels stuck making a hard decision. Maybe not happy with the decision that he's making. There's definitely some confusion or lack of clarity surrounding this King of Pentacles. Maybe not. Maybe he's not feeling sure that the action that he's taking is the right one. Or maybe feeling like he has no choice. But it does feel like he's releasing something or giving up on something. Or deciding not to take action. Let's see what else we get for you, Capricorn. We have the Page of Cups in reverse. And the Page of Pentacles in reverse. There's the King of Pentacles again. He's clarifying death in this set of cards. Ten of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles again, this time in the upright position. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse.
and the Seven of Cups in reverse, clarifying the Two of Swords. Okay, so the person the King of Pentacles is dealing with is this Queen of Wands character. Um, the Queen of Wands and Queen of Cups may be the same energy. I'm not sure yet, but it's feeling that way. The Queen of Wands is um, someone who can be overly demanding, jealous and envious, a bit of a manipulator. This can be a narcissist. Um, this is somebody who demands to have things her way. Or no way at all. I think this king is making a decision about this queen of wands. And about whether or not to release this relationship. Or give up in some situation in connection with this queen of wands. This could be a family member, somebody that he's very close to, that he's releasing. Um, feels like there's an ending related to this connection or a decision being made regarding an ending or letting somebody go. But I don't know that this king's made a decision yet. Because I think he feels like he's quitting or giving up. He's got two pages in his energy. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups. It feels like he's unsure about this decision because he, I don't think that the King of Pentacles is someone who's used to giving up or, or um, not putting forth the energy it takes to make something worth, work. And um, I don't think this is something this King of Pentacles is used to having to make a decision about. And it probably feels very uncomfortable for him. The Queen of Wands could be embodying this um, Queen of Cups energy as well. The Queen of Cups, if, she's, if she is also this Queen of Wands in reverse... This is someone who acts like a martyr. This is somebody who thinks everybody's out to get her or nobody can see you know, her side of the story or this is somebody who you know, wants everybody, everybody to throw them a pity party when something bad happens or something negative happens in their life. And um, if this king of pentacles is connected to this queen he might see he might be seeing that he has no other choice because being in any kind of relationship or connection with somebody of this nature especially if they're not changing is not a fun place to be the queen of wands in reverse is my least favorite character in the tarot and um I always get super bad vibes off the Queen of Wands in reverse. I've had a Queen of Wands in reverse in my life. Um, so I can't help but make that personal connection because it's just something I've experienced. And it's a very difficult situation to be in a relationship with somebody like this. Again, this is somebody who has to have things their way. If you don't agree with this person or you have a different opinion, it's likely this, this queen will turn on you and it's not going to be pretty. Let's get some more cards out here for you, Capricorn, see what else we can get. So we have the Queen of Pentacles now, clarifying the King of Pentacles. Interesting. 
and the Wheel of Fortune. The Emperor. The Four of Wands in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse. The Five of Wands, clarifying the Knight of Wands, clarifying the Queen of Wands. The Page of Cups again, this time in the upright position. And the Nine of Cups in reverse. So the king, the king of pentacles is connected with this queen of pentacles. Um, this could be a partnership in marriage. This could be a friendship. This could be family. It feels like family. We've got the ten of pentacles out here. I always, um, for me, ten, the ten of pentacles is a family dynamic. It could also be just a, a very close group of people, people who have um, long-term relationships, who treat each other like family, um, something that's been built over time. Um, both the, the Queen and King of Pentacles are very loyal, upstanding people. The, the Queen of Pentacles is very similar to the King of Pentacles, but she's also a very giving, nurturing, um, compassionate individual, somebody who could be um, a mother. Um, this is somebody who's very grounded, can take care of herself and others. Again, both of these people are, are like perfect partners. This is like wifey husband material. There is some disconnect between these two, there is something, um, a wedge. There's some kind of wedge. And I feel like it's probably this Queen of Wands. So let's, let me see what else we have here. It's, it's possible that, that the three people so far that I have on the table are all family members, close friends. I'm not feeling romance. Even with the Queen of Cups out here, this is not a romantic situation um, between these people. Um, I feel like the King is considering making some kind of executive decision regarding these relationships. There's some instability going on here. Um, this Queen of Wands might be making some, some demands of this King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. And what I'm getting more than anything is this this queen, the Queen of Wands has certain expectations when it comes to the relationships that she's involved with. And if you can't meet those expectations, she's gonna kick you to the curb. Or she's gonna make you feel really bad. She's gonna manipulate you. She's gonna get pissed off at you. She's gonna strike out at you. I feel like whoever surrounds this Queen of Wands has to, to has to walk around like tiptoeing on eggshells in order to keep her happy. Is what I'm getting at more than anything, um, Capricorn. Um, Let's get some more cards out here. I mean, honestly, this looks like a decision on whether or not to move forward with a relationship or not, or whether or not, you know, it looks like, looks like you're making some decisions on whether or not to keep certain 
certain energies in your life, certain positive energies versus certain negative energies, Capricorn, if I'm being honest. Um, and I think it's a hard, hard choice because, this, again, this could be someone that you're very close to, family member. Someone who you've, you've built a lasting relationship with that just happens to be toxic, who maybe you've been tolerating for quite a while and dealing with, but um, starting to figure out that this is not the kind of person that you want in your life in the long term, or at least not someone that you keep close. So we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. And the Ten of Cups. Two of Cups in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. The devil in reverse. The queen of pentacles is clarifying the king of, the queen of wands. So she's, the queen of pentacles has shown up now clarifying both the king of pentacles and this queen of wands. King of Wands, clarifying the Queen of Cups. My hands are cold. I just warmed them up by the heater before I did this reading, and now they're cold and clammy. Probably because of this Queen of Wands, she's making me nervous. <laughs> Three of Wands. I feel like this Queen of Wands has, has driven a wedge between this King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. There's some kind of... Um, There's some kind of conflict between the, king, the Queen of Pentacles and the, the Queen of Wands. And it's causing um, instability within a family situation, within a family dynamic. I think there's a lack of communication too. I think that... Um, the situation is probably making those involved in uncomfortable. And um, I, I, honestly, Capricorn, I, I get the feeling like this Queen of Wands is running the show and people are starting to become very unhappy about the situation because she, Again, if you don't do things her way, if you don't bow to her needs and desires, then she's going to she's going to wreak havoc. Um, this is feeling really familiar. Um, I'm gonna, I'm going to have to look back at the last Capricorn reading and see or there may be another anyway, whatever. I I'm just it's, this is feeling similar to a, some other readings I've been doing. This might just be the energy that we're all dealing with right now, having to do away with relationships that aren't serving us anymore, the people who are abusive and um, toxic in our lives need to be done away with. Because these kind of relationships are not worth hanging on to. And I think this is something this king is struggling with, this queen of pentacles possibly too. It's possible they're trying to do right by this Queen of Wands because she's family, because they're close to her. But she's making it difficult. So we have the Sun this time in the upright position. And we have the Three of Swords in reverse.
High Priestess, Hierophant in Reverse, The Emperor, this time in Reverse, Four of Pentacles, this time in Reverse, same set of cards. Strength in reverse. And the Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. I think this King of Pentacles is considering um, letting go of both of these energies. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. And I think he's considering letting go of both of these people in their in his life or letting go of these relationships because this Queen of Pentacles is tied to this King Queen of Wands. Um, but I think it's clear that um, there is some kind of connection here that's a solid connection. And um, I think this King of Wands is thinking he needs to let it go because of this tie to this Queen of Wands. But I also think that he realizes that he may be giving up a Ten of Cups because I think he feels I think he feels um, connected to this Queen of Pentacles. If this is if this is a marriage, I feel like this King of, of Pentacles is releasing a good relationship because it's tied to a bad relationship. Does that make sense? For whatever reason, he feels like if he hangs on to this Queen of Pentacles, he's stuck with the Queen of Wands. So he has to make this choice. Does he hang on to the relationships, both of them? Or does he let them go? I think, I think he feels like he's in between a rock and a hard place. Because I think he knows that it's wrong to just release something that feels like a positive relationship. just because there's this energy hanging on to the positive relationship that's not positive, this Queen of Wands. I don't know. I feel like I've done less talking in this reading than I've, I've done in others because um, I'm feeling the confusion that the King of Pentacles is confusing, is, is feeling. The confusion that the King of Pentacles is feeling. I feel like he doesn't have clarity, clarity right now. I think he knows. I think he knows that he needs to make a decision. But I think he feels like the decision is to release release these relationships because it's it's not what he wants he doesn't want he doesn't he doesn't want this queen of wands energy in his life but he's stuck having to give something up that he thinks is positive in his life if he gives up this queen of wands if he lets her go And he's conflicted about what actions to take. Um, I'm not sure what's tying this Queen of Pentacles to this Queen of Wands. I'm not sure why she's hanging on to her, if she is at all. It doesn't, you know, I... 
it's confused. I'm confused. I, I'm going to have to admit, I'm just confused. I'm confused at the dynamic of this situation. And it, it's obviously involving these three people. And there's some significant grief surrounding this third party situation. It does not feel romantic at all. It feels like family or friends, coworker. It feels like people are closely tied to each other through family connections. It doesn't feel like this king and queen of pentacles are married. If they are, this king is, is giving up on this relationship because of somebody else interfering, sticking their nose in his business, in this queen of pentacles business, and creating a situation where he has to let go of something he doesn't want to let go of. Because if he doesn't, if he hangs on to this Queen of Pentacles, he's stuck. He's stuck with this Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. Very confusing, Capricorn. I'm sitting here hemming and hawing with these cards trying to make sense of it. There's no, it feels like there's very little, if any, communication. There's not a lot of clarity for this King of Pentacles. And um, I'm not sure, I can't tell if the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands is even aware of this King's struggle. Does that make sense? It's almost like this, it's this internal struggle this king is dealing with. Um, let's get a Dreams of Gaia tarot card and see if we can't get some wisdom from spirit. Maybe clear this up a little bit for Capricorn. Capricorn, I'm perplexed too. I don't, I don't know what to say to you because I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out why this Queen of Wands has all the control. Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to figure out why this king is having to make a heartbreaking decision. And it feels heartbreaking. It feels like a heartbreaking decision to let go of a potential ten of cups because of somebody else. And why she has this kind of control. Why does she have that kind of control? It's, it's very confusing. So if you're dealing with this, I don't know how much clarity you're getting from this reading, honestly, Capricorn. I don't, I don't know if I'm helping. I mean, that's always my intention when I do readings. I want to help people, you know, work through things and live better lives and figure out their destiny and their path, spiritual path, and move in positive directions. But I, I'm not seeing how this reading is helping you, and so I'm confused. Because if you're the King of Pentacles, you know what's going on. I want to keep. I want one card. Just one card. Let's get one card for Capricorn. Help me, Spirit, understand. <laughs> I'm gonna understand this reading for Capricorn because I'm confused and I'm worried for you, Capricorn. I don't know what to say. Um. This queen of, I mean, both the queen and king of pentacles feel like very loyal, compassionate people. Like they're, they're standing strong. They're trying to do what's right. They're trying to make good decisions. This king is trying to make good decisions. He's trying to, trying to do what's right for everybody involved. Including probably this Queen of, of Wands. I mean, I, I feel like this Queen of Wands, unfortunately, is not seeing what she's got in front of her. Because I feel like she's got some really positive relationships in front of her that she's just neglecting or not acknowledging. Um, Alright, this one fell out into my lap, so I'm going to take it. The King of Air, he came out, he came out yesterday in reverse. And this is a... This is a this is a shadowy energy too. 
Capricorn. So I'm going to read this card and I'm going to let you interpret it how you will because at this point in time, I, I think I need to throw my hands up in the air and say, I give up. I give up. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say anymore. I feel a little bit like this King of Pentacles. So I'm going to read this card for you. The Dreams of Gaia um, tarot um, court cards meanings are, are pretty similar to the the meanings in the traditional Rider Waite tarot deck. Um, so here we go. If he's in reverse, it's a potential blockage. I will um, display the card for you in the upright. Here we go. The King of Air reverse represents a man who is extremely intelligent and charming and sadly cruel. He is someone who takes delight in using his mental acuity to cut people down and make others feel less confident and sure of themselves. He likes to have people second guessing themselves and because he also possesses a gift for convincing others that he is well intentioned and has only their best interest at heart, people seek out his advice. But he is a power seeker who likes to play mind games. What he wants is to dominate and control, not because he is emotionally broken or wounded, but because it makes him feel powerful. He does it just because he can. If you have someone of this nature in your life, the king of air, reversed, represents a need to cut ties and protect yourself from another's manipulations or desire to control you, or in turn, a need or desire you might have to control and manipulate others. Only pain will come from this relationship or behavior. Frankly, and I say this all the time, don't be concerned about the gender or the pronouns used for these cards to describe them. I think that this describes this Queen of Wands. If I'm being totally honest, I think that this person is a cruel individual who is taking advantage of the people that surround her. I think she is jealous, envious. She is a manipulator. She's a narcissist. And she is treating the, the people around her, the people who care for her, the loved ones surrounding her, these loyal individuals, this king and queen, she's treating them like crap. And she's being mean and she's being harsh. And I think this king is struggling with this because for whatever reason, this queen of pentacles is tied to her. And maybe he feels like if he lets go of this talk toxic energy he also has to release something that's not toxic something that's actually very positive for him something that could potentially be ten of cups ten of cups relationship friendship partnership he doesn't want to give this up it's causing him some heartache and some grief so Capricorn I'm gonna leave this here I hope that you gain some kind of clarity out of this reading I certainly didn't <laughs> um, anyway I appreciate you watching the video if it did resonate please like share and subscribe if you feel like sharing your story in the comments below i would love that too um, i like to hear when when the readings resonate and um, how they apply so if you've got a situation like this that you're dealing with and you feel like you know sharing a personal story i know that can be hard too i do appreciate it and i always respond to my comments too so anyway i'm gonna leave that here Capricorn again. Um, I hope that you got something out of the video and I hope that I see you again soon. Take care. Bye Capricorn.